Hey, what's up, fam? Today our workout is less than 10 minutes. Might even be able to complete this in less than five minutes. That's the idea you wanna have when choosing your weight and what type of either progression or scalings as well as what weight you go at. So the workout is 21.59 and you're gonna start off with 21 thrusters, 40 pounds for the guys, 20 for the ladies, so light. lighter than you typically go. So you wanna be thinking of the weight that you choose should be something that you're able to do all rounds unbroken without having to take any rest, as well as make sure that you're able to maintain a proper form and technique while under fatigue and at that intensity level. The other movement, you're gonna be doing pull-ups. If you do not have access to a pull-up bar or you're not able to kip or you're still working on strict pull-ups or you just would rather stick to strict, totally fine. You can also modify the number of pull-ups that you're doing in each round. So you could do something more like 15, 9, 6 or 12, 9 or 12, 6, 3, something like that uh, and go with strict pull-ups. You can also, you know, Mix this up too and add a little bit of weight and maybe do something like 963 weighted pull ups and, uh, and thrusters. So, still keeping the workout within that five to 10 minute time range and, uh, and trying to still keep the intensity level up, even if you choose to go with strict or if you're still working on your strict pull ups. If you do not have access to a pull-up bar, one option is to do renegade rows with the dumbbells that you're using for your thrusters. So with the renegade row, we're still working on a ton of core stability and strength and being able to stabilize throughout your midline as well as your upper body. So with that, you're holding your hollow and you're making sure that you're keeping your hips and shoulders squared to the floor as you pull that dumbbell all the way up in line with the top of your rib cage. Um, as you bring the dumbbell down, you're just making sure that there's little to no shifting uh, of weight from side to side and you're doing that number on each side. So you're doing uh, 21 total on one side, 21 on the other. So right, left is one rep, which will take you a little bit longer. So just, you know, take that into consideration. That style of approaching this workout, you're probably gonna be looking at uh, over five minutes for sure, but maybe not, maybe you can still get it in. But anyway, have lots of fun, enjoy, and we will see y'all next week.